Tenji here. Um, we are about to start a series. Woo! We're going to be starting to make our first basic game. Um, it's going to be text-based, of course. Um, we will not be learning any graphics yet. We need to get the, the fundamentals down first. Uh, we're going to be going with classes. We're going to start with classes. Um, one of my friends showed a, an interest in it, and since nobody else seems to be showing much interest in this, I'm going that way. So, um, notice uh, we do have two files. We have our main.cpp, which is a cpp files are source files, and then we have a .h or header file called care, and it's going. We're going to define a class for characters in our game. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and start out with uh, opening Emacs, really great editor, um, that header file, so we can see what's going on. Alright, if you recall, anytime you see the pound sign, it's a preprocessor command. Well, at the beginning of the line. So, we're telling the preprocessor to start an if statement that if not defined, uh, and it's talking about this this uh, variable right here. So if if this is not defined before, in other words, if this file has not been included before, then define it, and then put all this code, and then at the very end, end the if statement. So then we're gonna include um, but we're gonna be dealing with strings and input and output so we've got to include those and don't forget your namespace okay so whenever you are making your own custom class you make it by saying class to let it know that you're making class and then the name of the class ours is a character and then you open brackets um, you put all your all of your members, uh, i.e. variables, as well as your actions, or uh, also known as functions. So, um, and then you close it and don't forget that semicolon. In classes, you have to put a semicolon at the end of uh, defining. So, what a class is basically is defining something in the world or in our program. So, for instance, with character, all characters in our game are going to have all of these functions and uh, variables available to them. Um, so, for instance, all characters have AP and all characters have names. Um, whenever you have a class, there are different levels of, you can call it security. Um, there is public, and then there's private, and then there's protected. Um, public means that anybody can see it, anybody can edit it, well, if it's a variable, anybody can edit access it directly, in other words, edit it, uh, or look at it, and if it's a function, anybody can run it. Uh, protected means that only this class ca has access to it, and protected means that only this class and the classes that derive from this class have access to it. <coughs> now, we don't want some random function editing our name or our HP. So, we're making those both protected. Uh, now, that means that we have to have functions that allow us access to these two, otherwise we can't even look at them. So, first of all, we make a function that gets the HP, so it just returns the HP, uh, and then we make one that sets the AP, a HP. Uh, it doesn't need to return anything brings in a, uh, a temporary HP and just sets our HP equal to that temporary HP. Uh, and then finally we have um, get name which just returns the name that we have stored in here. Now, you notice these other two functions that are a little different. 
Um, these are what are called the constructor and the destructor. Anytime you make a character, let's say we made a character named Bob, it would call the constructor. Now when we deleted Bob, it would call the destructor. That gets called whenever you delete um, some uh, an object of this type. Now, when, whenever these are, uh, whenever you make an inst instance of a class, it's called an object or an instance. Um, the, our definition for our constructor, uh, I put down here so that you could see how um, to deal with define. Uh, it, well, we prototyped our function up here, now we're going to define it down here. Um, if it was a normal function, you would put the return type right there, but with constructors and destructors, you do not have a return type ever, and you don't ever return, ever. So, um, you put the, the class name, colon, colon, the name of the function, and then, like normal, pass that. So we're going, whenever a character gets made, we're going to print out to the screen, what do you want the name to be? Please enter a character name. And we're going to bring it in, put it into the name, and set our HP to 100. Okay. Now we're going to look at the main function. Um, we didn't need to do this since it's already in our header file, but it doesn't matter. Um, to include our own custom header file, we do include, like always, use the double quotation marks, and then you do, you can either do an absolute or relative, I'm pretty sure you can do an absolute path, I've always only done relative paths, it's normally good practice to only do relative paths to it. Uh, and since it's in the same directory, we just put the name. Namespace, um, then we begin and then we create a character named me and then we say hello me and me's name and get the name put it out on the screen and welcome to the real world this character right here is a new line character it's a special character you just simply do the slash and the n and it's going to make a carriage return but it doesn't flush out to the screen like inline does but it's a lot faster than inline so if you're going to be doing a whole lot of text like this and you just need a carriage return use that don't use inline um, your get the HP hit points won't take you very far here and we return so there we go let's compile it and see how it, see how it looks and we've begun and now we're uh, we're in that constructor uh, let's name it let's name it Bob I'm real I'm feeling real uh, original today and there you go hello Bob and welcome to the real world your 100 hit points won't take you far here well that was a brief introduction very brief introduction to classes um, like I said, this is going to be a series. Uh, next time, I will get into the inheritance stuff. Uh, we're going to make players and NPCs um, that are going to be derived from our character class. So, it's going to be really exciting stuff. Uh, so, see you next time.